Hey, hey, hello, hello. In this video, I'm going to show how to transfer game saves from PC SX2 emulator to a real PS2 memory card. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the file on an emulator first, so you can see what we're working with, and then I'll show you how to export it, the program you're going to need. Um, the only prerequisite to this is you need a free MacBoot memory card and a USB stick. So as long as you have one of those, I am, you can make your own free MacBoot memory card, or you can just purchase one from eBay or Amazon. That's what I did. Uh, so, yeah. Let me show you, first of all, the emulator... All right, perfect. Let me unpause it, just so you can see it all from start to finish. So we're just going to load up my file here. There it is, 4 hours 10, Titus, High Road, North End. And we're here. Titus has three levels. Lulu has nine. Waka has eight. Kimari has three. We have two, seven, two, eight gil. And we're four hours and ten minutes into the playthrough or the run or whatever. I'm doing this in order to um, practice things for the speed run. But you might want to just move your progress over for a casual game. But just keep an eye on these numbers so you know that it will, you can tell that it will match up and you know I'm not bullshitting you. So there it is there. <clears throat> The next step is you need to grab a program, which I will link in the description, which is called uh, MYMC or MyMC. And I'm going to show you that now, which is right here. I've already taken the liberty, obviously, of downloading it. Then you're going to open this up and click on the uh, MYMC GUI.exe, this one here. And then <clears throat> this is going to try and look for your memory cards straight off the bat. So try, like, hopefully you know where yours are. It's usually either in your documents and then PCSX2, or in my case, I have a newer version, which is in my retro gaming folder. I keep everything in that folder. <clears throat> so then I can go here and then find mem cards. And in my case, it's going to be memory card one and then open. And here you'll see it populating with your games and your saves. All right, Excel, you can see that's me. And the one we want is FF10 High Road North. Okay, then what we're going to do here is export this. I'm going to just export it to my downloads F folder, but your mileage may vary. Um, so it's going to create a PSU file. There we go, exported successfully. Okay, then if I go over to here and back to my downloads F, you will see that we have this SLUS 20312 FF10 High Road North PSU file. Then what you want to do is go ahead and drag this file over to your memory stick, your USB stick. Just as it is, just, just drag that straight over and copy it to the memory stick. And then, uh, like here, right? And then go ahead and put that memory stick into this, your PS2 Slim. With your free MacBoot memory card, obviously in slot 1. This isn't going to be a demo on how to use free MacBoot, but I'm going to sort of take for granted that you presumably already know how to use that. So here on the real PS2... Again, booting up with free McBoot here, you want to go to U Launch Elf or ELF, whatever, however you pronounce that. Next, hit circle for file browser and then 
trying to t try and find your memory stick, which should be mass, which mine is right there. And you'll see, because I've already gone ahead and taken the liberty of transferring this file over um, to make the video a bit shorter. But here, what you want to do is right click uh, R1, not right click, sorry, R1, press R1 on the controller on this and then copy. Now press triangle to come out of this menu and go to memory card one zero. So in, in, when you set up free McBoot, your first slot, the left slot, slot one for your memory card in the actual PlayStation is the free McBoot card. Slot two is your personal card. But the way that you launch reads it is it reads one and two as zero and one. So in this instance, zero is the free McBoot card. Number one is my memory card. <clears throat> then you're going to see here we have my actual files on my real memory card. Then you want to press R1 again. And go PSU paste and press circle. Don't just paste it normally, otherwise it'll be a corrupted data. You have to do PSU paste so it unpacks it and knows how to actually utilize the file. Okay. Then once you've done that, you can back out of this, press select to exit. And I actually don't know how to exit this menu, so I just reset the PlayStation here. Then obviously you're going to see it boot up again with Free McBoot. You can take the Free McBoot memory card out now if you want. But I'm just going to go into the browser. I'm just going to leave it in for this test just to show you. So memory card one, as we said, is zero on that you launched. So this is the OPL and free McBoot stuff, right? And as expected, this is my memory card. And you'll see here, this is our high road north, four hours ten. So if I close the disc tray right now, and we'll try and boot this baby up, and I'll show you in-game on a legitimate PS2 on real hardware here. I think the screen is a little bit scuffed, like it's a bit lower. I haven't tweaked the aspect ratio for this. I'm not using an overlay or anything. I'm just doing it kind of raw just to show you the whole process. without And without any cuts. And you can do this obviously with any game. I'm just... I doing it with FF10 because, like I said, I, I want to practice this uh, particular skip uh, that we, we do in the speedrun, and I'm going to use this for other features. The only thing I'm actually sad about is that I want this exact setup for PS1 games because I would like to move my Parasite Eve files. So that's kind of how I fell down this rabbit hole in the first place. And when I... I, I, to get to this point in the game, the High Road North, it takes three to four hours, and on an emulator you can speed through it. But, uh, which is what I did, and I thought, I can't be bothered to play all the way through this just to test this skip. Is there a way I can transfer an emulator file? And, well, here we are. <laughs> so it's I saved it purposely in-game on slot number 10. Uh, I think I showed that, but just because, obviously, to make sure you don't interrupt any of your others, because I have real saves. But there we are. Here you go. Tied us with three levels, Lulu with nine, Waka with eight, four hours ten, two seven, two eight gil. You can see it's the same save. Happy days. So yeah, um I will link that MYMC or MyMC, whatever it is, the, the the program for it in the description. Um I think I covered everything. If I missed anything, let me know. If you got any questions, let me know. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.